Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Um, yeah, this is all the stuff I've bought from eBay in the last couple weeks and have gotten in. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to show, so let's get right into this. Uh, this first thing is pretty cool. Uh, it's been on eBay for a while and nobody bought it, and then the seller lowered the price, and as soon as I did that, I bought it right away. I'm going to frame it up and hang it on my wall, but uh, just decided I'd show it right now anyway. Uh, it's an old... TV promotional poster of Adrian Vandenberg and the cool thing about this is it is signed by Rudy Sarzo over I don't know if you'll see be able to see it because it's in black sharpie but it's right there and also signed by Mr. Adrian Vandenberg right there at the bottom which is why I bought this uh, because he's one of my favorite guitarists and you don't see a lot of stuff signed by him ever so saw this and had to have it uh, there's also an autograph below his but I'm not sure whose that is so if you happen to know who this is right here let me know please because I have no clue I just know Rudy Sarzo and Adrian Vandenberg on there so the other one's a mystery but anyway uh, this next I a lot I bought from eBay from one seller it was an auction and I was the only bidder got it for 10 bucks which was a decent price for these because you don't see a lot of his cassettes very often uh, it's Rory Gallagher. It's the album Jinx, which I don't have on vinyl, but I will be picking up a copy because I listened to it for the first time and I love it. And Stage Struck, which is a live album, which I also don't have on vinyl. We'll be finding a copy soon. And then these two I do have on vinyl. Fresh Evidence, his final album he did before he passed away. Uh, it's a great album. If you haven't heard it, go listen to it. Check it out. And then Defender which is also a great album and this is actually a UK pressing or UK import on the Demon label which is pretty cool then I got a lot of cassettes or uh, not cassettes, uh, singles, 45's I bought all of these from the same seller spent ten dollars total I think after shipping and everything so it was a great deal a lot of different bands here so first we got Molly Hatchet flirting with disaster and that's the same thing on that side too it's a white label promo oh I just noticed something this side's the long version and the short version is on the other side I didn't even notice that and I also think these came from somebody with a jukebox because they have the little jukebox labels with most of these um, so that's really cool because if I ever decide to get a jukebox or something I can reuse those then we got flirting with disaster the regular pressing with gunsmoke on the B side Beating the Odds and Few and Far Between. Then we got some uh, Deep Purple, Might Just Take Your Life, and Coronarius Redig. I, that may be how you say it. I probably messed it up totally, but yeah, that's a pretty hard name to say. Then we got Hush and One More Rainy Day on the Tetragrammaton record label. I think that's how you say that. It's kind of cool. And then on the same label we got Hard Road and Kentucky Woman. And then we got Super Trooper and Woman from Tokyo on the Green Warner, Butter, uh, Warner Brother label. And we got a couple Montrose ones. We got Bad Motor Scooter and I Don't Want It. This is from like a little series that had ACDC, Saxon, Stingray, Montrose, and Van Halen all on it. With the band photo right there, that's cool. And this one has the band logo. And it has Space Station number 5 and Good Rockin' Tonight. And these were both UK pressings. That's really cool. And I got some Gary Moore singles. Got Back on the Streets with the same thing on the B side uh, this is a white label promo on the Jet record label and we got uh, Out in the Fields with Military Man on the B side and this is a UK import on the Virgin 10 label then these next three are also UK imports but they are his later blues stuff we got Walking By Myself with Still Got the Blues live on the B-side. This is from the album Still Got the Blues. 
I'm a huge fan of his early uh, rock heavy metal type stuff, but I also love his blue stuff. And that is on the Virgin label, UK Virgin label. Then we got Cold Day in Hell with All Time Low on the B side from his album uh, After Hours, also on the UK Virgin label. And last but not least, we got Since. Uh, Since I Met You Baby with The Herd Inside on the B-side. Since I Met You Baby has B.B. Uh, King with it, and it's a great song. Also on the Virgin 10 label, or Virgin UK label. So yeah, those were really cool to find. And the last two things. Uh, this first one, I already had this in my collection, but the one I had was a later 70s uh, reissue on the Chrysalis label and this is the original Polydor from 1973 it is Rory Gallagher tattoo and I got this for a steal because it was an auction and nobody else bid against me so I got it for like five bucks total shipping and everything so I was very happy to find that I'll show the record and it's nice it has very few scratches on it nice looking vinyl there we go then the last thing uh, I ordered this from Germany from the same seller I actually bought that Rory Gallagher uh, Defender album from a couple or a month ago or so uh, and this actually only took like nine days to get here which is really fast for something from Germany but it's an album I wanted for a long time and once again I got it for a steal it was an auction I was the only bidder and got it for really cheap it is Don Dockin up from the ashes his solo album he did after the band broke up this is a great album. I've wanted it on vinyl for a long time and I'm very happy to have this. This is on the uh, German Geffen rate label. If you haven't heard this album, definitely go check it out. Uh, to me, and I'm a huge Dokken fan, but this really sounds like a Dokken album. Like This could have been their fifth studio album. Uh, although Don's the only original member but it just sounds awesome and it's because he has a bunch of cool musicians on here he's got John Norm from uh, Europe on guitar uh, Billy White on guitar uh, Mickey D on drums and Peter Baltes from Accept on bass so it's just got a great lineup and all the songs are great it's just an all-around fantastic album so yeah like I said, if you haven't heard this, go check it out. I'll probably link a song or two down in the description below. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys very soon.